Okie dokie, I think it's time I visit the moon cave before I fully explore this place. Mm hmm. I'm gonna need one more power before I fully take on everything in this area. I mean, I could do it now, but going through the moon cave will make it easier. So let's see, the shortcut ladder unlocked in Slacktide. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Now I'm in range. Lovely. Can't go this way, can I? Nope. Invisible wall. Or not so invisible wall. And poison. Shell discovered. Tin can and shell shock. Lovely. And let's not fall down. In an effort to recover his home, the plucky hermit crab ventures into a mysterious cave. But he quickly discovers that the return journey will be significantly more challenging. Hello? Who's talking? He approaches the ghostly figure in front of him. Alright, give me a minute though. So that was a tin can. A sturdier version of the colorful metal shells often worn by young hermits. Popular shell due to its sturdiness and simplicity. Indecipherable markings line the outside. Plastic armor favored by Slacktide's late inventory. The husk of a once delicious plant. Now mostly used for comedic effect. Lovely. Hello. Hi, uh, my name's Krill. Do you know of any shiny in this cave? So that might impress, like, a huge, beautiful crab lady. Oh no, you're hooked. Confused and desperate, the hermit crab begins begging help from strangers. Hey, I'm not desperate. Yet. But so far, he has perse persevered by taking refuge in artifacts from beyond the waves. But to survive from here on out, he must awaken the currents inside of him. He must access the power of Umami. Umami? But look, if there's some secret I should know about, can you please just tell me what it is? Stuff's been convoluted ever... enough ever since I left the tide pool. Feeling pity for the helpless creature, the noble Moonsail designed Danes to awaken his latent abilities manually. He better not be messing with... Whoa! What the shell was that? I feel... tingly. The Herbert Crab dons a metal shell and feels a new ability awakened. I do? Yes, he does. Umami training. Shell spells. While wearing a shell, press X to consume Umami charges and activate its unique shell spell. Used Umami charges will regenerate slowly when you attack enemies with your fork. With knowledge. With the knowledge. Alright. A creature blocks the hermit crab's path. Immune to his physical attacks. It may only be dispatched by his newfound umami powers. Well, it's not convenient. The noble moon snail denies any involvement in manufacturing the scenario. Alright. The once innocent hermit crab's ability to slaughter his enemies has increased dramatically. Did you have to put it that way? He senses that the reward he seeks lies further within this cavern. 
as well as the opportunity to meet his newfound idol, the mysterious and attractive Moon Snail in the flesh. Guess I've got no choice. Alright. Can I talk to you more? <laughs> so what is this mama stuff exactly? The hermit crab continues into the cavern and decides to make use of its new abilities. Alright. Guess you're not telling me. Oh, oh, <laughs> that was much of a bloody fall into an abyss, was it? Hopefully there's nothing I'm missing around here. Red Claw. No! Well, I suppose that works. It'd be nice if it didn't cause knockback, though. Blimey. Recharge. At least that one's taken down. Yeah, they're just giving me a lot of bottle caps. And into the abyss he goes. Mm -hmm. Ah, that was sweet there. Yeah, let's not miss anything while I'm here. Shortcut. Lovely. Right, now what? Got a long way. I already had one of those. Mm -hmm. Ow. So that bit's done, that bit's done, this bit's done. On to this bit. Shot glass. Hmm. I'd rather take the metal. OBS Studio Disconnect Reconnecting. Alright, so that's the first one of the day. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's a shame that I can actually, like, anticipate when it's going to happen. Uh-huh. 
Ah, one week to go. One week to go as of this recording. <laughs> and then I can bitch on all I damn well like. To the internet supplier that's supposed to be coming in here this month. <laughs> oh, they were supposed to be here bloody March. Well, I guess I can just drop down from this bit then. Uh huh. Uh, reconnection successful. Lovely. Hard kelp sprout. A piece of kelp ready to bear nutritious pods. Permanently increases the amount of hard kelp pods you can hold. Lovely. Alright, so I've got my Estus flask. Lovely. Alright, what we got here then? So, yeah, been up there, been over there, been there. You've got crab there, crab there, crab there. Poly hat, item, and I assume the way to the boss. Bloodstall him. Severed limb of a bloodstall, easily regenerated by the host creature. Collect two more to increase vitality. Five undo. Chip claw. Chunk of plastic in the shape of crab's claw. It's definitely worth something. Trade in for five hundred. Party. <laughs> Party hat. Nah. Let's just stick with the tried and true method. So it's just you left then, right? Yeah. A big boy with... I know they aren't supposed to be used for the ears, but it looks like it's been used in the ear. I suppose that works. Yeah, yeah, that works. So that's everything here then, right? I hope so. Yeah, it's all not a party around here. that there was another one here. <laughs> I could have had four. Oh well. Hello. The looted platoon pathfinder. The blue aggro symbol lets you know an enemy is about to use a crushing attack. These are powerful blows that are very likely to break your shell if you're hiding in it. When you see it, be sure to dodge, run, or jump out of the way. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Alright. That sucked. At least I'm only dying against bosses. <laughs> I could head back and get a level up or two. But I mean going through all those craps. Hello.
So is this just like the mini boss music, man? Probably. Scoured. A gorgeous pearl manufactured, so manufactured somewhere beyond the ocean. Looks perfect for impressing royalty. Lovely. And we. Moving Snail's domain. I'll just get these first. Yeah. Right, hi, Moonsdale. At long last, the hermit crab lays eyes upon the powerful, borderline sensual body of the Moonsnail. Hi. Well, thanks for leaving me here. I think the Duchess is really going to like this peril. But I still need a way to get out of this cave. In order to progress, the Hermit Crab will need to further expand on his umami abilities. Cool. How do I do that? I'm getting into it, damn... I mean, uh... The Hermit Crab closes his eyes and allows himself to become one of the waves. He knows as the effect his body has on the current around him. And lets himself be changed by them, in turn. Okay. Hey, when I close my eyes, I can start to see something. I see a tree? Some sort of tree of skills? Ebbly. Shellaportation allows you to walk between previously visited bonfires. Every single thing leaves currents in its wake as it travels through this ocean. Be it a living person, a beast, a corpse, or even a piece of garbage. The life force of the ocean, the beating heart of this world. This phenomenon is known as Umami. Invisible to most, Umami currents can be detected by a chosen few. Even fewer still can make use of them. Oh, the glowing purple stuff? I've seen that surrounding some big shells and crystals out there. Surprising. I guess I didn't need a zappy then. I mean, um, the hermit crab's training may progress faster than I anticipated. It feels like perhaps if he enters a discarded moon shell, moon snail shell, a new use for it might reveal itself. Hermit crab returns prepared to augment his abilities. All right. Uh, skewer, skewer sprinting. Parry. Release your block the moment an enemy strikes perform a parry. Your shell won't da take damage, and your opponents might flinch. I'll take it. The moon crab shell is invaluable to protecting him from predators. But protection will not be enough. To achieve his goals, he must take this shell. He must make a shell, a tool of aggression. He directs his enemies' attacks, destabilizing and confusing them. How can such a small creature withstand such massive blows? It seems to defy the natural order. Aggravation, self repair, kintsugi. Natural defenses, releasing block while naked lets you parry as if you're wearing a shell. Oh, alright. Increase your MSG. I might as well unlock the base ones. Uh, press RB while spreading to perform a rapid lunging attack. Alright. Out in the open ocean. Many creatures must take out of another's body in order to survive. The hermit crab has taken life many times already. But as the story escalates, so too must the violence. So that gets me plunge attack, scrap hammer, dispatch. Press RB near capsized enemy to attack the weak point for massive damage. That's probably what I want the most then. Using a charge attack on a shell sticks it to the end of your fork, turning it into a powerful hammer. You may also press down to do the same with your equipped shell. Spear fishing. Press LT to fork, to throw your fork, to fork your throw, to throw your fork at enemies to wield them in at the cost of a barbed hook. But be careful, large enemies will put up a fight. So does that mean I could potentially just drag them into abysses? If so, that'd be great. Wave breaker. Uh, while aiming at your, while aiming your spear at an enemy to grapple to them instead, dealing your Using your momentum to deal a powerful blow. That would be nice as well. Streamline. 
Press B mid jump to gracefully dodge through the water. Ooh, mid air dodge, lovely. Vivid crab moves like water itself, performing practical acts of acrobatics to avoid its predators. One wrong move and it could all be over. Lovely. House warming, each shell, each shells, shell spell, may be cast once for free without using umami charges. Circle of light, defeating an enemy with an umami based attack will restore an umami charge and temporarily boost your MSG. Elusive prey. Becomes invisible for several seconds after your shell's broken. Attacking will end the effect early. Skedaddle. Press or tap B with no additional no directional input to form a quick dash backwards. Unburdened by your shell's weight. Ebb and flow. Press RB immediately after dodging an attack with Skedaddle to perform a powerful spin attack that covers great distances. I mean, they all sound good to have. Aggravation? Yeah, self repair would be nice. Then it could be like Bloodborne. Plunge would be good too. Dispatch would probably be best. Then I could probably be treated like Sekiro. <laughs> uh, let's go for aggravation. What determines whether a creature flees a larger predator or stays to fight? Perhaps it is a calculated decision based on whether they feel they can win. But sometimes we see prey take fights they have no logical hope of surviving. Driven not by logic, but pure primal instinct. To flee is not in these creatures' nature. Alright. Way of the predator, way of the true crab, way of the hermit. Streamline. Press A to jump and then B to gracefully dodge. Skewer. Press RB while sprinting to perform a rapid lunging attack. Parry. Hold LB to block and then release the button right before an enemy attacks to land a powerful... Wait, no. I'm reading this cor incorrectly. Hold LB to block then release the button right before an enemy attack lands to parry the attack, dealing no shell damage. This will also harm your opponent's balance, getting them closer to being capsized. I like... Yeah, there's ever. The Noble Moon Snail provides their people with additional powers. Teleporting. Krell's attunement to Umami can now enable them to walk between any Moon Snail shell he has previously visited. LA. Alright, so yeah, get a couple of those in. Best to have some MSG. Maybe. Let's just keep it even for now. <laughs> so I got that. It's probably best. I got 47 to find. All right. Pivot Crab knows instinctively to return to this place whenever he faces danger beyond his abilities. I will, thank you. My Radic, can you tell me how taxes work? Pivot Crab knows instinctively to stop pushing his lock. <laughs> Alright. So now I've got Umami. Yeah, let's probably explore the shallows. I only explored like a little bit of it last time. So it's probably best to like fully explore it now. Maybe I can get a few level ups before going back to Slack Tide. That would be for the best. Let's see, am I able to grab it from here? Nah. There's help. Well, that would be nice. Alright, so there's still stuff that I can get. Been around here, picked up the item behind the pillar. I feel like I missed something though. Might have been a couple of NPCs before I went through the moon cave. Yeah, it's possibly a thing. Unless I'm in a different area. 
Yeah, I could have just went to the wrong one. The mayors are getting a bit murkier. A little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Severed limb of blood star easily regenerated. Collect one more to increase vitality. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Has the road been through here? I think the road has been through here. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> Yeah, that don't look good. <laughs> that don't look good. Can I get the music back, please? There we go. No, nope. yeah, no, no. Come on. Get the music back, please. Back, ruffians! Back, I say! You dare, I don't suppose you'd lend a claw to a fellow in need. I dare say I'll die for sure if you don't. Alright. Can I get a music back? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Fine swordsmanship, my boy. I dare say these ruffians have become bolder and bolder as of late. That's just life on the frontier. How exciting. Why not move away if it's so dangerous? And give up on this prime land the Duchess offered me? No way, Moray. The, just ga the Duchess gave you land? Isn't there land all over the place? Ah, the simple insights of country folk. This really is the life. You deserve something for saving my carapace, country boy. Surely this could be of use. Good luck with your country travels. But still complete. A blood star has been made whole. Maximum health increased. Lovely. Alright, so that's the first piece of heart completed. Now for many more. Come on, where's the music? I'm away from the castle. Oh well. Uh, let's not fight you yet. The music just really isn't appealing, is it? <laughs> yeah, well. I was gonna say, don't be stuck in a bloody... Alright. That was weird. <laughs> well, you're down, at least. Could you please stop attacking? Thank you very much. Yeah, I think there's still quite a few glitches in this game. It's been out for... Four or five days at this point? And there have been quite a few patch notes... Well, quite a few patches done to the game. Oh, well, I, I guess I parried somehow. Happy accent. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that. So there's just one crab in there, is that it? Is 
Yeah, I think so. It's just the one crab inside. Oh, no. Never mind. No crab. Yeah, nothing up there. Lovely. Fully charged anger one shot. And more crystals. Great, I need all the abilities I can get. So that just leaves in here then, right? Yeah, view. And that's it for this area then. At least this section. There's still some bits to go, isn't there? think. Yeah, there's a big area over there, and there's an area over here. Uh, I would say let's get the level up, but the lack of music is worrying me. It should be back by now. Hmm. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I might just want to teleport back. <laughs> Still 41 to go. Okay, there's the music again. That's a good little bit. So that takes so long to get back to. <laughs> oh, that would be weird. I believe I need to get to the rock up ahead then. So that section's done. There's the area boss there, or I guess like the, the world boss, central boss, whatever now, whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, there's something there I can fight. Yeah, I didn't go far enough. Alright, alright, back to the rock. Yeah, so going closer to the castle just cuts the music. from here I can get to her, right? Yes. Although, hmm, there might be another way. Sand Dollar! Vanishes on death, but prevents you from losing microplastics. Split second, I could get it. Oh, it's probably best to do it from the other side. Okay, without activating boss. Yeah, the music's starting to go. on top of that. Oh. Alright, let's do this. And up. And up. And up. And up. Okay. Right, hello. Is 
Be nice if I could see through the sand. Now, is there anything on there? Uh, not that looks of it. Alright. Here. Oh, this leads you back to the start of the game. Alright, I see, I see. down. Let's see, anything around here? There's you. There's you too. And your purple. Is that it for the perimeter of the castle? I believe so. So it's just inside of the castle then. Wherever the inside of it was. How many is the Amami tax? Yeah, I should probably not forget to use those. A lot of crabs around the perimeter, and a coconut. Yeah, that's coconut. New shell discovered. Shell weight. Different shells have different weights, and indicated by the letter on the stat sheet. Heavier shell might take more hits, but it'll also slow down your dodge roll, making it harder to avoid attacks. Alright. Now I am a coconut crab. Oh, I don't have the shell umami on, do I? Oh, I don't have the tin umami. And then, yeah, just two crabs there. Alright, I can just skip those. Can I? Well, I skipped that section. <laughs> Hello, what do you have inside? Let's stall him. 
A savage limb. Collect four more for a piece of heart. All right. Is that everything then on this section? I think it is. That just leaves the other part and the boss. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'll just be going into the castle. goes the music. Not much I can do about that. Well, I could have went here before going through the moon cave. Give 800. That'd probably be a good way to grind for microplastics. Messing up here a lot. Hair claw. Small chunk of plastic and metal in the shape of a crab's claw. Must be worth a lot. Trade in for 2,500 microplastics. That would be quite a few levels. Yeah, and there's a big guy there. There is him. Party guy. And what are you? Sponge. 18 MSG required. Yeah, Billy. I suppose if you want to go the MSG build. Still sounds really silly to what you say. Uh-huh. Star. Oh, no, don't no. get back here. Get back here. Kelp's no longer healing for full. Nope. I think there's a way to empower it. I hope so. I will I will not be killed by dogs!
I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying the coconut. Give me six on though. It's getting murkier. The closer I get to slack died. Yeah, and then I could have just climbed up there. Alright. Alright. And the NPC that would be here is missing too. Yeah. I suppose that's good info for me to know. It's like there's certain NPCs like here before certain events are triggered. They don't do much, but they give some nice flavor text. Probably best to try and fight that guy now then. Yeah, probably for the best. How? Actually, how much? Uh, Twenty-three. Don't know if I'll have enough for a skill, but would be nice to check. Uh, let's do that before I fight the big bad guy. Sixty-eight. There's still thirty-two around here somewhere. I feel like I'm gonna miss one. Quite possibly, but not much I can do. Spirit full to bursting, and the hermit crab is ready for more power. Uh, self repair, repose, plunge. I still need two more. Alright, so not much I can do there. It was worth a check. It was worth a check. A fragmented piece of coconut. Inside, it's long since devoured. Consume some shell health to restore Krill's health. It's got a lot of durability. Yeah, it'd be central and then east. That was all the way back here then, wasn't it? Oh, no, 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 don't. Don't unequip it, bloody hell. Nah, I'm not going to say we can trigger the extra limb again. Alright, you. You, 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 you. Royal Shell Splitter. Full health, I would have lived. Oh, I wish I could do about that. <laughs> nope. Nope. All right, round two. Oh, 
so I can like spin through the crushing attack. Ah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> I really wish I had that hit of massive damage ability. Would be nice. <laughs> Else, but they're defeated. Pollution scoured. Close low. Lovely, so that should be enough for another ability, maybe. So that should be everything then, right? I've been to the castle up there, I've been to the castle up there. I've defeated that guy, gone everything I can, so it's really just castle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Might want to save that for next time, it might be a long one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just cash in the... Cash in the crystals. So there's still 27 to find in this uh, area. I would like to collect them all. Would be nice. Alright, Moon Sail. Uh, give me Plunge Attack. That would be nice. Does the greatest danger come from above or below? It is, of course, a true question. For any prey in the ocean, the greatest danger lies wherever they aren't looking. Lovely. So 40 and then dispatch. Hold RB in the air to perform a powerful plunging attack downwards. Sorry. <laughs> Just want to try it out. Alright, so that we should be good to go. Test Lactide. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, considering the atmosphere around it now, I think I'm gonna save that for next time.